Welcome everybody to the finale of our Dragon of Ice Fire Peak mini campaign for One Shot Onslaught. Guys, what happened in episode five of Dragon of Ice Fire Peak? I forgot to listen. Barry knows. He always knows. I really don't know. I don't remember this one. If you ask me, I'm going to start retelling about the the dude in the campground we saved from the big giant monster things. But I that's think that like that was one off. No, that was one, two off. I think. Yeah, I was going to say that's the one I remember. Or the boar that turned into a human, or vice versa. This one started with you guys all having some fucked up dreams. Oh, I got chased by bananas. Yep, <laughs> I got chased by bananas coming down the stairs. Oh fuck! It's all coming back to me now. Albert had a dream. <laughs> From the like Time the Mora. goddess chick Aurora, yeah, Timora, Timora, yeah, she showed him something that I don't remember. Something important. My dream was really long and like descriptive, and I couldn't remember to relay back to you guys. <laughs> and then, okay, I remember this now. We went to the mountain. On our way there, we ran into a freaking uh, minotaur. I think right, centaur, centaur, yeah. And we asked him about what, you know, like what's going on up in the mountain. And he told us about a lore about the knight who went up there. And she had a a companion that was a, was it a dwarf or a, a troll or dwarf? Yeah. It was a dwarf, yeah. Okay. How so are you doing this? He told us about that. I pulling it <laughs> he off said from memory. I remember here, dude. one word of it. I can see like Lego blocks snapping together <laughs> in about, fucking Barry's brain. Just that's to, about how to, this is working. Okay. Oh, man. So I will we get argue to the, that, that that never happened. <laughs> we get to the top of the mountain. There's a fucking cave there. And Sean Marston was brave enough to go into the cave and check it out. Inside, he found a. Oh. Okay. He found a dead horse. Horse. Yeah, dead horse. It was a skeleton horse. And I mounted it. And I talked to it. I cast a spell to where I was able to talk to it. He told me that he never left that room that he was in. The he was like stuck in there. Yeah, the butthole. <laughs> That's where we, <laughs> we went in the butthole. <laughs> so we went in the butthole. We took the horse with us and followed into the next room. We found a sword stuck in the roof of the, the cave or whatever, with, you know, whatever the fuck it was. And there was a coffin or sarcophagus okay we opened it and there was i could be off about this wasn't there something inside like elven mithril or uh, like a (laughs) garb or something inside there was the necklace of fireballs with four fireballs on it uh clot or not Clyde. uh bellasar got two sean marston got two oh i got fireballs that's right we (laughs) split it yeah, so both of you guys have two fireballs. And Wait, let's, let's, let's pass out the other two fireballs so we can all use our fireballs. Boom, boom, boom. So everybody's got one? Yeah. All right, we'll do that at the start of this. <laughs> and then, there, yes, there was a sword. We create, we made a crazy plan to fly up and fucking pull a sword out of the roof of the cave. Lasso. Yeah, lasso. Sean Marston. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he lassoed it out. We pulled the sword out, and the fucking cave started shaking and moving, and it was actually a dragon that we were inside of, and he came to life, but he was all bone and fucked up. Weezing and shit. And he couldn't blow fire. It was like dust. He kind of sucked. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's kind of And terrible. yet he still almost killed like two or three of you. <laughs> oh, he fucked me up. I can't remember how. I think he whipped me with his tail or something like that, but he got me. Um. So we battled him. We killed him. And then I... We am. ended with you guys leveling up to level five. That's right. That's right. That's um, what it was. The one thing we did miss before that was that... Um, God, what was that guy's name? Big Al mentioned while he was cooking you guys those piles and piles of bacon, he mentioned that um, <laughs> he knew that. where the orcs, their old base was in Ice Spire Peak. You know, he told you all where it was, and you all knew where Ice Fire Peak is. You guys can actually see from Fandom on a clear day. And uh, he mentioned that the orcs, the only reason they were even down on his farm is because a white dragon came into their fortress in Ice Fire Peak, killed their leader, killed a couple other orcs, and they had to flee their stronghold. That's when 
Albert, yeah, mentioned that dream from Timora about the uh, the dragon slaying sword. And you guys hit level five. We already went over the leveling up and everything, so we don't have to worry about that. And I guess we're ready to go ahead and start with you all just in this rubble of these dragon bones. No, yeah. So nobody has a horse except for Bellasaur. I'm gonna name. It, I'm gonna. I'm gonna call him Bonesy. <laughs> so we'll go with Bonesy. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, so yeah, from here we'll go ahead and drop right in and let you guys decide what the next uh, approach is going to be. Well, that wasn't so bad, now was it? I guess not. Says the guy that fucking like, died. died. <laughs> I, I think I, died. I went down. I went down. I know that. Oh, did we um full heal? Yeah, you guys will be able to full heal now. You guys have leveled up to level five. You guys are fucking ready to go. You suppose that white dragon is going to be a lot stronger than that guy? Mm hmm. Well, I'm not, I'm not going to the front lines for that one. Sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm staying back. Holy shit. I just had an idea. What's your idea? We need to lure the dragon back over to the garrison. And did fucking, did Uncle Herschel breakfast cooker dude, can't remember his name right now. Did he ever get anywhere on that? uh, yeah, Sildar, that's what it was. Did he ever get anywhere on building me that fucking, that big ass, like, Uh, you guys shooter? have only been gone, like, a day, <laughs> oh, so, so no. I, I mean, I don't know, you don't know how long, I don't know how, if any of you four know how long uh, it takes to take a, build a ballista or not. Not long if you put your mind to Dustin it. Dustin can do it in, like, an hour. Right, <laughs> anybody got any of them satellite rocks that we could talk to Sildar with? No? I don't think so. So where are we in relation to Phandalin right now? A little north of Phandalin at the moment. So you're kind of smack dab in between Icefire Peak and Phandalin. Because Icefire Peak is just directly north of Phandalin. Mm, I don't think we should go get some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, um, now that you mentioned it, it's nighttime. Oh, you damn. guys left... Big Al's house in the morning. It took you all day to get to Dragon Barrow. And so it's still, you know, maybe like 10 o'clock at night at the moment. Mm, I think we should go get some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think <clears throat> I think we should check back in. Back at Fadlin. Just check on the garrison and talk to Sealed Off. Or camp out for the night. Well, we can do that in the morning. <laughs> Camp out for the night. In the okay. morning. We no, no, no. Camp we can camp out, out for the night here, and then go back to Fenland in the morning. That makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> what do you guys suppose a dead horse eats? Mmm, dirt. Mmm. There's some good dirt around here. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't think it'll make it to its stomach, mate. I don't think it would need anything to eat. Well, he looks hungry. <laughs> he looks starved. He looks pretty bony. <laughs> Bet you're a bit ugly there, fella, aren't you? Are you going to use the spell slot to talk to this motherfucker? <laughs> oh, right, it fucking expired. I forgot. No, I'm not going to use that spell slot for that right Wait, now. Wait, how long does that spell last? Um, Speak with animals. Let me see. Might be an hour. Speak with animals is... Oh, fuck no. It's only like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, yeah. 10 minutes has definitely passed since going from the dragon butthole all the way to the mouth, getting the sword, all that stuff. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, I had another idea. <laughs> okay. Right. Let's let's rest up. In the morning, we'll go back in and check in at Fandolin. Why don't we go see those trolls to see if they can help us out with any other equipment before we go up to Ice Spire Peak? Maybe we can convince the king to give us some other things. That sound good to me. <laughs> do we? Do we have any? Do we have any bones here? Is the skull still intact from this dragon we fought? Uh, I mean, all the bones are yeah scattered around. Yeah. Right. We'll take him the skull. Tell him it's got magic properties in it, and we can just gift it to him in exchange <laughs> for other items. That's a good idea. I say we do it. Well, what if they inspect it and it doesn't have magical powers? 
We'll wait until, you know, we wait to give it to him until he offers us some items. Then we kill him. Well, you know, I mean, I don't think we go that far. He's kind of indebted to us. Not really. I mean, he gave us the items already, but he could be indebted to us some more. He thought ghosts were scary. Maybe we tell him that white dragon's coming his way. <laughs> tell him a ghost dragon. Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a fucking ghost dragon. <laughs> All right, then let's let's do that. I agree. All right, so yeah, yeah, that's the plan. But we got to check in with Sildar. I want to see how far he is on my ballista. All right, you guys are camping out for the night, right? Yeah, yep. are you just like camping out here? It used to be these big like hills and stuff, but now that the dragon has like burst to the ground, now it's just like loose dirt and bones scattered everywhere. But it's all level, flat. Yeah, no one should fuck with us here if we stay here. It just looks so metal. I'm just gonna make a, I'm gonna make a dirt bed with a couple bones. All right. Uh, so you guys all camp out for the night. Anybody taking watches or no watches? What's the sleeping? You guys don't have all checks anymore to power down and watch over everybody. I'll take first watch. And I'm an owl, so I could take the next watch. <laughs> <laughs> Do I even sleep? Yeah, you gotta sleep, yeah. Yeah, owls sleep, man. The night goes by uneventful. As you wake up in the morning, uh, Bonesy is still just sitting there eating dirt. You guessed it. That's exactly what bone horses eat, dirt. <laughs> so how are we doing this? Are we going to Fandolin? Yeah, let's stop off in Fandolin. Let's go up to the garrison. All right, heck yeah. Uh, heading off to Fandolin. Um, as you can see by the map, this amazing map I drew. I'll <laughs> I'll post this somewhere. Uh, yeah, you all head back over to Fandolin. It's it's really not that far from here. Maybe like four to six hours. Bellator could probably get there a little bit quicker than everybody else on his bone horse. You all make it to Fandolin. Where are we going to go while we're in Fandolin? Well, I'm going to head off and go see Silda. And check on the ballista progress. Okay. Everybody else? I'm going to go to the Flabby Troll. <laughs> that is in Raven's Point. Uh, the one <laughs> here is called Stonehill Inn. That's where we're going. So, Pip, you head up to the garrison, and you see on that grassy knoll where Sildar, you instructed him to start building a, ga- uh, a ballista, you see that he has got uh, himself, uh, one other human, and a dwarf all working on this ballista that looks like it's actually starting to take shape already. You can tell exactly what this thing is. I mean, it it doesn't have like the string or the bolts or anything on it yet, but it's got the vague outline of a ballista. Awesome. Oh, hey, Pip, what are you? Uh, you're back early. Right, yeah. How'd um how'd your two quests go? Well, one went pretty all right. The second one, we ended up walking through the butt hole of a dragon. <laughs> Wait, what quest was that? I thought you all were trying to save Big Al, and I thought you all were trying to take a load of goods to the lumber mill. So mm-hmm. which one involved walking in the butt hole? Well, we, we did, did both. both. <laughs> we did both. Um, after Big Al's. He kind of he loaded us up on some bacon, and how did we go from Big House to that mountain? Mm, we went. We just went to the butthole for fun. <laughs> <clears throat> Albert had a weird ass dream while we were at Big House. So over breakfast, he was telling us about it, and it led us to this big, huge mountain top that was outside of town. Just so happened to be the burial ground of a knight who fought a white dragon. And we found a sword there. We took the sword, and the dragon came to life, and we had to fight it. I almost died myself. Everybody else was all right for the most part. Somebody else got fucked up. Don't remember who. But now I'm back here checking on the progress of this ballista. And I need you to know that it needs to be done kind of quick, because I'm probably leading another dragon back here later. Like later as in like an hour from now or what are we talking? <laughs> I mean, I'll give you like like six hours. Six, uh, six hours. Look at this thing. We ain't got no bolts yet. <laughs> Why not? 
Well, I didn't think we needed this thing in 24 hours, Pip. I thought we had a little bit of time, maybe like three to four days, three to four business days. <laughs> well, look, okay, <laughs> how far away is our spire peak from here? So the uh, it's it's a cloudless sky today, perfect weather. He points up north that well, look, you can actually if you squint real good, you could probably actually see Ice Fire Peak right up yonder. And he points up to the north, and you can see uh, this mountain peak that it it looks really weird for a mountain peak. It's not just like this mass of mountains. It's a pretty short mountain range you can see kind of towering over the rest of the plains of the area but then at the very center of it you can see this one mountain that does like shoot sky high it's like that there that mountain in the middle right there that's a ice fire peak right there all right so as long as it takes us to get there and back here is about how long you You think you're gonna get there and back here in another six hours pip that that's nonsense right there look at that look how far away that mountain is Look, look, all right, I'll reckon with you. Can you have it done in 10? 10. 10, ten years? 10 hours. <laughs> 10 hours. I'll reckon with you. Is that a, is that a thing? <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's just what came out. Pip, I ain't ever heard somebody reckon with me before. <laughs> it sounds kind of like a threat, to be honest with you, but I'll tell you what. You got 10 hours. And I will have this thing operational. <laughs> I I can't guarantee more than one bullet for this thing. I mean, we're going to have to finish building it and then also make a bullet for it. Well, don't. I mean, make a bullet, but don't worry about it. I got something I'm going to shoot out of here, too. All right. But, I'm, hey. I need this to be a full 360 degree, able to turn on the spot kind of thing. Oh, Pip, pip, pip. Now I don't know if we're going to be able to make a bullet for you or not. <laughs> All right, I have the bullet. Don't worry about that. Hey. Just make it spin 360 degrees. Wait, I think I hear Albert somewhere. Where's that? <laughs> He's like looking <laughs> He's around. He's like flying up. <laughs> <laughs> Albert's coming swooping down. What you, oh, Albert. Hey, what's up, Albert? What you? Hey, how far is um, Ice, Ice Spire Peak? I was just telling Pip here, it's about 10 hours, five hours there, five hours back or so. And you'll have the um, ballista done in 10? That's that, kind of what we're working out right now. That's the agreement. Right. Yeah. Mm. Hey, well, I, I have to go to Nemagon. We're going to make a pit stop there. That might buy you an extra two hours. That's no, hey, I'm going to stop you right there. Noman Guard's like five hours away. So that's five hours away, five hours back, and then five hours away. That's 20 hours we're looking at now, Pip. Look, I was never good at math, all right? I dropped out pretty early, made a living other ways. So bear with me here. I'll give you 24 hours. What if, um, what if we can't bring this dragon back here? What if we put this ballista on a wagon and brought it up that way? Albert, use your eyes, Albert. Use your eyes. How could we fit this thing on a wagon? Look how big this thing is. It's pretty big. big. Is it? I mean, it's, <laughs> it's pretty big. It's bigger than a wagon. It's not a bad idea. But I bet you I Spire Peak is the dragon. I hear Bellasar talking somewhere, and it sounds like he's talking a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> he's just walking up the hill now, too. <laughs> he's just up there looking and talking to himself. Hey, hey, Bellasar, We're going to walk our here. happy asses five hours that way. Mm, you guys How do you know it's five hours away? <laughs> I have <laughs> fucking, like, super Bella, good hearing. Bellasar, quit, quit <laughs> eavesdropping on conversations you ain't a part of at Bellasar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, look, okay, let's just, let's call this. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. I love you. You got 24 <laughs> hours, and we need this thing built and done and ready to go. All right, 24 hours. I could probably get a built. I could probably get two bullets for it. Wait. Right. Okay, but you know what? It's just now kind of dawning on me. You're really planning on bringing a fucking dragon to Fandolin? Oh, have fuck you yeah. seen how much fucking wood is in this town? I mean, yeah. And have you but- seen the Hobbit movies, man? I'm saying that sounds like a fucking terrible idea. If you guys could like kill it elsewhere, that would probably be pretty cool. <laughs> okay, maybe we can go back to the boneyard of the other dragon. Okay, can you put this thing? Can you put this thing on wheels, not on a wagon? 
or wheels? Um, I mean, I guess we could. I don't know how you're going to like maneuver it up a fucking mountain. Well, we you won't take it to the mountain. Man. There's a there's a spot in between here and Ice Peak called You Are blah, blah blah on the map, <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna we'll post up shop there. Okay, well that makes a lot more sense than walking this big old thing up a mountain. <laughs> Why didn't you say that in the first place? That's that actually sounds like a pretty good idea. Right. I, again, I never went to school. I don't do well with critical thinking, but now with all these valid points being made, I think this is the best route. All right. Yeah, I could have this thing done and operational mobile maybe yeah maybe the 10 hours would probably be good still again maybe only one bullet in that time frame i mean it's gonna take a while to make bolt i gotta find a tree the perfect length you know what i mean it's got like it's got to be good over here right right yeah well like i said we got a good enemy guard so you got some extra time there hey do you have anything that we could take as a gift for somebody I mean, my Uncle Herschel Becker is kind of my bread and butter. I mean, in more ways than one, if you know what I'm saying. But uh, I ain't had time to make a Uncle Herschel breakfast in quite some time since I've been working day and night on this here big-ass crossbow you all ask for. <laughs> it's going to come in handy, mate. And it's well worth it. Other than that, all I got is, like, my one sword. I don't want to give up my one sword. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no. Well, we have this giant fucking dragon skull here, and we're going to take this with us. But Holy shit. How the fuck do you all get that giant ass dragon skull all the way here? <laughs> I don't know who <laughs> carried it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's like six times bigger than me. Yeah, I'm saying like I'm, I'm trying to work out the mathematics right now in my head. I have no idea how you all got that big ass fucking dragon skull here. Right. Look, Sildor, <laughs> if we could figure out how to get this here. You could figure out how to put some fucking wheels on this thing. <laughs> no, I don't. I just, that math not ain't checking out for me. I don't know how you all did that. So. <laughs> Do one of us have one of those fucking never ending bags or whatever the fuck it's called? Nope. Even if somebody did, the opening doesn't go more than like uh like twelve inches, I think, or something like that. It's a mystery how we did it. We're not. Yeah, I mean, you guys do have you do have Bonesy Boy, whatever the fuck it's called. Bonesy. Maybe I transformed into a fucking steed and carried it with him. Hey, just however you all did it, I'm just I'm just saying I am oppressed. So um, that's one for the history books, isn't it? That is that that indeed. So uh, you all gonna offer that to the gnomes for some more magic items, something like that? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's exactly what we're gonna do. Well, um, have fun with that. Uh, the sooner you all get to getting, the sooner I can get to finishing this here. But listen, add some fucking off road wheels or something to it now. <laughs> well, Three hundred sixty degree turn, off road wheels, mm. five bullets. Okay, the, the order of the order of operations for that's going to be wheels first. If I got time, I will make it. I will add 180 degrees to it because right now it's only 180 degrees. And then the very last thing will be making ammo for it because you said you got some ammo for it. I've got, yeah, yeah. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. That sounds good. He has a ammo, <laughs> a piece, a single piece. All right, uh, best of that luck we think to y'all. Work. Um, if you want, I mean, I guess you all completed two quests. You guys could turn those in to good old Harbin Weston if uh, you wanted to on the way and collect your gold. And then, I don't know, maybe you could just like buy stuff from, the, from them gnomes. Mm. Well, sounds like a pretty good idea. Not a bad idea. I'll give you one copper piece for your only sword. <laughs> no, hey, Belisar, you know... You know a man's only sword is worth more than one copper piece. Five copper pieces. Hey, how big can a potion of, of growth make you turn into? One size bigger. So for you, oh. a medium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. A regular sized person. <laughs> yeah, there's shops and towns that, that have all the like mundane items that you guys can see on like if you like just Google D D five E shopping list. And if you guys Google the D and D magic items on D and D Beyond, you guys could always make an argument why the gnomes in Nomengard will have these items. So, 
So the question is, are we going to Harbin or are we going straight to Nomengard? Let's go get fucking paid, boys. Let's do it, it, boy. I mean, I like quest solving and stuff like that, but I like getting paid just as much. I love the money. So you all head to Harbin Weston's house, still completely boarded up. Uh, You pound on the door. Oh, hey, 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 guys. All right, open up, your wanker. No, 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 no. Hey, what, uh, what quest did you guys do? Both. <laughs> but, oh. Both. <laughs> Both. There were three up there. So which two did you do? We did all three. <laughs> I don't okay. remember a third. <laughs> if you can say all three of the quests you did, I will pay you for all three of the quests. We saved the lady from that. Already tiger, paid you that, for that one. That wing tiger. Well, we did it again. <laughs> <laughs> it, it came back. <laughs> the second one was take some goods to somebody's brother. That was my brother. Thank you so Your much brother. for doing that. I think he had a message for you. Mm, we cool. I think he said you're a dick <laughs> or something like that. Yep, that sounds like him. We oh. uh, collected some gold from some kobolds. In Goldshire. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what the I don't even remember what the fucking second one. Oh, the owl or the yeah, fucking big, big owl. owl. Big owl. Right. Oh, you all say big owl. Do you uh he was supposed to sign sign a letter for you all? Uh right, somebody he did. Has he that. did, by the way. Yeah, he yeah. did. I don't remember who has it though. I yeah. We'll just right. yeah, you slip right. it on the it, door. Yeah. All right, this checks out. All right. Uh, stand back, everybody. Here comes your gold. He starts wait, flicking on. <laughs> wait, Big Al didn't put it on paper, but he said to tell you to double all of our pays. For all that, I mean, Big Al ain't got no. I heard it. Well, Big Al doesn't have he, any authority over me. Right. He said He said you owe him one. I am. No, I'm above Big Al. Right, Big but, Al used to be the sheriff under me, and then he quit. So he's literally <laughs> like not even tied to me at all. Can so I cast a spell that. through a door? It depends on what spell. Charm person. Uh, read it to me. I think that you have to see the person. It says, you attempt to charm a human. Ah, uh, you can see within range. Fuck. All right. That guy's just, just sit back here. It comes. He starts pew, pew, pew. He's flicking gold under. Uh, a few minutes go by and you guys all get. Uh, so these are tier two quest. You guys will be getting. Uh, 100 gold each total. Dang. So you guys can add that to... Mm, all right. I got 140 gold. Does it ever bug you that you put me in jail and now you have to pay me to do this stuff? <laughs> <laughs> no, because, I mean, I figure if you at least kill, get rid of this dragon, we'll be even Stevens. Oh, the dragon's dead, mate. We have his skull back here. I don't believe you. I don't think you killed it. I just saw it this morning. Right, he's dead now. If you if you open the door and peek, there's a skull out here. No, I don't <laughs> believe you. Uh, roll a perception check, Barry. Fourteen. Oh wait, not perception. Uh, persuasion. So persuasion. we'll keep the. Holy fuck! You got a plus seven, so we'll give you a seven plus your persuasion. Okay, seven plus persuasion. Yeah, twelve plus seven, so nineteen. No, so it'll be a 7 plus 7, so 14 still. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, okay he okay. says, uh, he flips open the mail slot. Like, <laughs> well, let me, let me see that bad boy. Well, that <laughs> thing looks like that thing's been dead for years, and he closes the mail slot. Thank you for killing <laughs> that thing. <laughs> but that does hey, not look like the dragon I saw this morning. It came back to life, okay? I mean, it really did, mate. But the That's dragon I saw was like flesh and stuff and all white. So I need to recount to you that this dragon, smaller, older, less powerful than the dragon you want us to kill, killed me almost with one hit. I think that you should hook us up with some extra provisions before we go up to fight this other dragon. Being the town master and all. Yeah. Bro, one more persuasion check. Oh, fuck. God damn it. <laughs> you all killed that bone dragon right there. You guys should be able to kill this other dragon. 
I got faith in you with your uh, 400 gold I just gave you guys. You guys should be able to like kill it pretty good. I will say if you do kill this new dragon that's flying around town, you kill that dragon, even Stevens. Even Stevens. Yeah, you know, your brother's right. You are kind of a dick. And I walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so the plan is to go to Nomengard? Yeah. All right, Dragon the Dragon Skull. Maybe we can leave that. Oh, no, we have to take it as a gift. Fuck. Right. I, well, how do we get it here? We do the same thing. It's yeah. another, it's another <laughs> mystery. Bonesies, yeah, Bonesy <laughs> and some other mumbo jumbo. All right. You know, I'm 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 gonna keep this to at least at, at most an hour and a half. Uh, so to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and montage the whole travel to Nomengard. So you uh, you follow the stream uphill again to the mountain, and again you see this massive pool of water with uh, these two foot tall red, green, and purple mushrooms all kind of scattered around. Uh, and you you see the same conveyor belts and escalators kind of uh, crisscrossing this maze in Nomengard. You guys can tell exactly where to get to both the workshop and to the king's quarters. Yeah, I think we yeah. should get the king's quarters. Yeah, I'd say we go see the king first. All right, uh, you all head over to uh, the throne room. You you wouldn't think that it would be proper to, to go to their bedroom to talk to them. Um, so you head up to the throne room. Here you see uh, both kings sitting on their thrones. They have a little board, actually. Um, just sitting there. There's nobody else in the in the throne room. Just sitting there waiting. Hello, king. Oh, hey, 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 hey. It's the four that saved us from the spooky ghost. Right, you remember us, all right. Yes, I couldn't forget you all. Oh, wait. They did give you a fucking stone of far speech oh, to yeah. keep in contact. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, of course. Why don't you guys all radio us? And we, we brought you a gift. To be honest, we forgot we had these um stones. Is that a dragon skull? Absolutely. Ooh. We brought What's this. that for? We brought this mm. as a gift to you. Just because. Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> a bartering gift. Yes. Okay, so a gift with strings attached. Not as cool. <laughs> right, right. You remember when we were here before, and you gave us the gifts after we got rid of the ghosts for you, and we asked you to help us with gifts that would help kill a dragon. Yeah, and I think we gave you four gifts that I think were going to help kill a dragon, right? Well, I mean, they did, clearly. We killed a dragon. We brought it to good you. Good job, good job. Uh, there's a new dragon. A that. second dragon? Right, yeah. And this one was kind of old and dusty. He was, he was, you know, he wasn't at his prime. Still almost killed me with one shot. Now we have to fight a new healthier dragon who's stronger and a little bit more powerful, I'd say. And I don't think some flying boots and a necklace is going to help out. <laughs> and I thought to myself, who better to help us out than the gnomes up at Gnome and God. And we brought this to you as a gift. In exchange for something. Barry. Actually, let's do one group persuasion check. And I'm going to take the like the average. The top two, whatever. Oh, I got a 19. Oh, oh and a nat 20. All right, we're done. <laughs> Persuasion. Okay. Okay, Dust. <laughs> I'm just gonna what roll. Let's see. Three. Let's see. Plus yeah, go zero. ahead. You might get two twenties. I mean, you got 19 and 20, so I don't think you can. Oh, it. okay, guys. Uh, seven. <laughs> uh, oh man. Oh man. Hey, everybody, real quick, take a moment and just start looking through the official D and D Beyond magic items, like, <laughs> uh, yes. even up to even up to legendary. Do we get just one I'm item? I'm just going to give... Okay, if it's a legendary, you all total are only going to get one. 
very rare, still only one. And then rare and rare and lower, you guys could get two. Look at this item that I just found. I don't know how much health this dragon's going to have. But we're at Nomengard. And there's a fucking wondrous item called the Nomengard Grenade. <laughs> What's that do? Yeah, so listen, this small metallic object combined comprised of rune covered parts made from different metals linked together, all that shit, whatever. And it shines a rainbow color when it's held up in light. And it says, uh, as a special, or if you take a turn as a special key to arm the grenade, or arm the grenade, and once armed, it explodes in a matter of seconds. And you can either hold it or you can throw it up to 120 feet. And then all and, creatures within and they get 60 to roll feet. And the Wand of Wonder. Yep. All creatures within 60 feet of the grenade when it explodes have to make a 15 uh, deck save throw. And if not, they take 28 fire damage or half as much on a successful one. Guys, let's do that. It's called the Nomen Guard Grenade. It's and perfect. And the weird gets to roll on the Wand of Wonder three, three times. Three times. Rerolling any duplicate results, too. And then not only on the fire damage, but they also have to make a 15 save on Constitution, and they get 28 thunder damage if they fail on that one. I vote yes, because so like, they would have... damage total. They would have this, like, a breaking case, you know, like in a glass case, breaking case, freaking... Last resort. Well, I mean, we could give you all our one and only Nomengard grenade. It took us about a dozen years to make this thing, but I feel like an imminent dragon attack is going to be the most pressing threat against uh, Nomengard, and so I think it's worth it to give you guys this in exchange for the dragon skull. That would be wise. Well, it looks pretty cool. It's got a lot of colors. And they pass over this small metallic object that is comprised of rune-covered parts made from several different metals linked together with a variety of gears, bands, bits, and bobs. The metals are all different colors, making the grenade shine with a rainbow of color when held up in the light. So this is going to be a bonus action for you all to uh, arm this grenade. And once armed, the explosion is in a matter of seconds. So it's an action. You can hurl the grenade up to 120 feet. And at the end of your turn, the grenade explodes. And we will get to what the hell happens when the grenade explodes, if and when the time comes. Um, If that's all we can do for you all, we wouldn't mind if you all would go and kill that dragon like as soon as possible. We don't want it to gather any more strength or attack Nomengard, so the sooner the better. Right, this helped out tremendously. Uh, So we'll montage back to Fandolin again. You all make it back. Uh, It's been about eight hours total now, there and back, from Fandolin to Nomengard and back. And when you all make it back up to the garrison... You see, actually, you know what? I'm going to roll the dice real quick. You see Sildar and the dwarf and the human that have been working on this ballista. Sildar uh, waves you all over. Oh, hey, hey, y'all, come look at this ballista. Check out them wheels. Look at them wheels. Told y'all we were going to have some wheels. Are them ATs? I ain't know what an AT is, but I mean, they're wheels. All terrain. (laughs) <laughs> oh I mean I mean look at them treads on these bad boys. Look how big they are. You can you can push these on. <laughs> What's that say? BF Goodwitch. Mm, those are good <laughs> wheels. <laughs> I mean they should be they should help it off well enough. I mean if you were able to drag a big old dragon skull, you should be able to drag on uh one of these bad boys. Uh the thing is we do have three hundred and fifty degrees articulation. Check this out. There's just one little blind spot in the back. Yeah, why just does don't it have a blind worry about that. spot? <laughs> don't you worry about that. That's all we had time to compensate for. Uh, we do have one bolt and one bolt only. You guys came back a little earlier than expected. But, uh, I mean, if you're all ready to set off, then uh, we're ready to send you forth with this this here weapon. You all got a name for this bad boy? Mike. Mike, Okay. <laughs> I like it. Nice and not any purpose to it. <laughs> you all take Mike. Uh, you go deal with that dragon. And then town of Fandolin and the Storm Coast is going to be extremely grateful. 
Mike means maybe it'll kill everything. That's what Mike means. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe it'll miss and it'll be absolutely fucking useless. We'll see. Uh, let's get to it. What does Michael stand for? Yeah, but yeah, <laughs> Pip. What is if if we named it Michael? What would that stand for? Mike and Ike shoot the spike. I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Mike and Ike shooting the spike. <laughs> all right. No, y'all making any more goddamn sense. Y'all just get out of here. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Don't you worry. <laughs> all right. Yeah, you come back with the dragon head and with a new acronym for Michael. Uh, have fun. Good luck. I'll start repairing the house now and get back to, you know, fixing up the mansion for us all. So, Michael spelled with A E L C H A E L. Sure. Yep. Maybe it can hurl an extra large bolt. We'll add a B <laughs> on the end of it. You added a B to it, Michael <laughs> Bush. <laughs> so now the question comes to I'll I'll leave it to you all. You have seen the map. You know where I Spire Peak is. Where are you guys parking this mic? Because you know that you can't really take it up in a mountain. Well, I guess we're parking it at the base of it. Mm hmm. Makes sense. Mm, who's who's gonna fuck with Michael while we're just who's 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 gonna shoot this bolt? I guess whoever gets there fastest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not going full force into the fight here because the dragon will probably kill Ooh, me one shot. Somebody too. could hop on. Albert's back and he can glide down the mountain. Yeah, man, I fly 50 feet per second. I think I'm the only one you can carry. Yes. That makes sense. Yes. Mm-hmm. The only one he can carry is Pitt. Right, me and Albert will fly down and get ready. I'll distract him with some, some shots. Pow, pow. Can a growth potion grow his pistol into a really big gun? No, it just cannot. humanoid. Oh, okay. Where are we parking, Mike? Yes. Right there. <laughs> We're going to park him right underneath where you had the X marked. So, or like right above it, I mean. So halfway in between so we can get that dragon out and away All from right. anybody. All right. So pretty close to uh, Dragon Ice Spire Peak. Mm-hmm. All right. Everybody, it's your dungeon master Adam Deweese here. Uh, thank you all so much for checking out this week's episode of One Shot Onslaught. Hey, do you love Funko Pops and podcasts? Well, at least one of those things if you're hearing this ad. Uh, well, the good news is that now you can learn about Funko exclusives, giveaways, and more with your two new best friends, Mike and Josh. You need to listen to Talkin' Pops on most platforms. Uh, check them out on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to your podcast. So that is T-A-L-K apostrophe in space. P-O-P-S. Talkin' Pops. You know, like Funko Pops. Uh, these two guys are hilarious and they talk about all things related to Funko Pops. 
If you're into Funko Pops at all, this is like the one and only podcast you really need to listen to for all the info related to Funko Pops, like new releases and everything. Uh, so definitely go check them out. That again is Talking Pops on all podcatchers. Uh, you can find it on Apple iTunes. Uh, go ahead and give them a listen. Uh, give them a rating or review. Let them know that uh, One Shot Onslaught sent you. And just enjoy uh, two really good friends uh, hanging out, having a lot of fun, and talking about Pops. Hey, if you are listening to this episode live as it goes out, then guess what? This weekend is our Extra Life Charity Stream 24-Hour Marathon. Uh, come stop by twitch.tv slash one shot onslaught. We are going to be having seven different giveaways throughout the entire 24 hours. So you can donate as low as $1 to our extra life charity page. Make sure you leave your name so that we can find you. If you win one of the giveaways, it is going to be tabletop gaming. It's going to be D and D one shots. It's going to be monster of the week one shots. It's going to be interviews with um, other D and D uh, podcasters, DMs guild authors, editing of our show halfway to heroes it's going to be uh, during the night. It's going to be uh, Neverwinter video gaming as well as Red Dead Redemption. It's going to be so much fun, 24 hours straight, nonstop. You donate as low as $1 to our page, and you will be entered into all seven of our fantastic uh, giveaways. Uh, join us on our Discord or follow us on Twitter to find out what those giveaways are going to be. But just go follow us on twitch.tv slash one shot onslaught and make sure you tune in April 18th through April 19th, uh, 6 p.m. to 6 p.m. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a lot of really good giveaways. You're going to want to check it out. Uh, and you can check the show notes for this episode for the link to that uh, donation if you want to drop a dollar to get entered into seven amazing giveaways. it to uh the base of the mountain you all park mike and who is like is everybody going up the mountain to get to the dragon or like what's what's your plan of attack for that i'm gonna i'll stay at the bottom and kite this motherfucker i'm gonna kite this dragon even though he's fast as shit albert and me and bellasol can get to the top the quickest mm -hmm. we can fly and he's got a bone horse so we can go and scope it out. And we can dip the fastest too if we need to get out of there. Where I mean, where's Sean Marston camping at then? Uh, under the under Mike. <laughs> Not under Mike. So Sean Marston's staying by Mike? No. No. No, not by Mike? No. I thought you said you're by Mike. I didn't say by Mike. He's not by Mike, man. No. Oh. Not by Mike. God dang it. By you myself. Never said he's going to be my mic. I said I'm going to kite him. Kite the dragon. Oh, so you're coming up yeah. with us. Kite him, not mic him. <laughs> what the fuck? No, we're going to we're going to mic him at the end. <laughs> I'm confused now. <laughs> Wait, who's got the fucking sword? Wait. So who's who's up here with us? So the on. thing is, you guys have got Mike parked at the base of the mountain. Oh, he's at the base. I thought it 
For some reason, I figured Mike would be at the top of the mountain. No, oh, Mike, no. Is, the wheels Mike can't go up, up the mountain right. for Mike. We got to lead the so, dragon back okay, to Okay, gotcha. Mike is at the base of the mountain. Up the mountain, you have to walk up a snowy pass, and then you get to a like a like a pretty big fortress. Okay, I'll be at I'll be at Icefire Peak. All right, so you guys are all going to go together. Yeah, I got to put my cold Mike gear on bottom. first, though. The what? I got to put my cold gear on first. Put all of your cold gear. on. I'll sacrifice myself. Get eaten by the dragon. You guys kill him. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, Mike is parked at the base of the mountain of Ice Fire Peak, heading up. And it's kind of a winding, snowy pass, and clouds partly obscure a stone fortress situated atop the icy spur of a jagged, snow-covered mountain that you recognize as Ice Fire Peak, a landmark so enormous to, as to be visible from Phandalin on a clear day. The mountain dwarves the fortress, which consists of uh, two separate structures joined together by a stone bridge. A narrow winding path corkscrews up the mountainside to the smaller of the two structures and appears to be the only safe way to reach by land. It's an unwelcome path, but not as unwelcome as the cold howling wind that buffets you. And at that moment, like as you guys are snaking up this path, you hear this roar. That's like loosening some of the snow on the mountain and it's like some small avalanches ca- kind of cascading down the mountain from this dragon's roar. Pip kind of cowers away like, fuck. <laughs> right, I'm not going ahead. Somebody else take the lead. I'll go. Hey, I got a question. I got this spell, guys, that could do um, a thunderclap that makes a noise within um, 300 feet. Maybe we can lure it out here with my noise. <laughs> we could try it. <laughs> Let's fucking try it. Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> Instead of going all the way up there. Do your booty Let's clap. Do it. I'm going to smack my booty. It's actually Thunder Wave, so it's actually a spell slot I have to do. But yeah, I, did I have it. that spell too. 300 feet. I make a noise. Does it hear me? Well, I'm going to wait till we're 300 feet from it. If I have to, pop, pop, pop. I killed the dragon. So, I mean, you're. <laughs> so I mean, you're in. You're at the base of this fortress. I mean, you don't see the dragon anywhere. You heard it. You don't see it. Well, can I investigate that sound to see about how far that might be? Sure. Roll me an investigation check. I did not. <laughs> I did not hear anything. No, you don't. Yeah, you don't I'm know gonna, where they came from. Not with a three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll to you. Fifteen. Uh, Pip, you think that was probably like 200 feet away? <clears throat> no, it sounded, sounded a couple hundred feet away. You could probably cast that. It'll get its attention. All right. I'll, um, I'll do that spell then. Mi- Kapow! <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice sound effect, man. Oh, yeah, thanks, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you make this massive uh thundering <laughs> class noise uh you see uh wait does he do this behind me i'm flying up so like my butt's right in your face man and just slap my cheeks just slapping i bet you alfars probably smell the worst god oh, damn dude, they're probably wait terrible a we all have to make a constitution saving throw <laughs> yeah you do let's do that <laughs> wow, cool. thanks albert 15 plus something Plus two. Fifteen plus two. Oh, you farted right in fucking uh, Bellator's <laughs> face, and he doesn't even give a shit. <laughs> nope, I take... Uh, motherfucker. Uh, but <laughs> I roll, think Sean roll. Marson and Pip are both going to take some. Yeah, roll 2d8, Dustin. Oh, well, why'd um, you do this? Wait, constitution save is 12, so... Oh! Te- I, technically, I see a so 12 So Sean Marson saved, but Pip... Hey, you're not. about to get farted on, son. Yeah. And I get fucking blasted 10 feet away. Why, I think, <laughs> why didn't you move away <laughs> yeah. from us? <laughs> nope. Too it's late. too late now. Roll oh, 2d8. No. No. That's, on, that's on Albert. That is yeah, 100%. I'm so, sorry. I'm so sorry. Eight. Motherfucker, I got to take eight damage. Right, that's not much damage, man. I'm gonna, okay, this is going to be fun here. This is going to be fun. So I just stand there and take this fart to the face. 
And I'm like, do I just get do ah. I just get blown off the mountain? Or just oh 10 no, feet you guys backwards? take half as much. Oh, Johnny Belisar and Sean's Marston both take four damage, what? but what? you aren't pushed. The snow starts cascading Please. down the mountain from the path that you came. Oh God! Along with Pip, good he probably not job, the side of the mountain. Fucking Albert. <laughs> I'm gonna- <laughs> Albert is flying. The snow is just like cascading down from above, loosens and starts to fall. Albert, you're able to just like fly above everybody else. How are you going to deal? What would your character do with this uh, snow avalanche? How are you guys going to? Well, Albert is going to zip towards Pip since he shot him like backwards. He's going to zip towards him and pick him up. Okay. Okay, Until he gets there, I ice knife a wall. Or like whatever, see if I can slow myself down. Albert swoops down and picks up Pip, and they start to fly above the snow, going back towards Mike. Belisar and Lorchon Snow, what are your two plans for dealing with a snow avalanche? Is there any walls near me? I'm going to start climbing a wall. I'm just going to tuck and roll. There are no walls. There's walls further up, like up the path, like the, towards the fortress, but they're... You know, at this point, like 50, 100 feet away, and the snow is coming down that way. I too, I too shall tuck and roll. You see that this avalanche has kind of broken apart, and as it's coming down towards you all, you actually see three to four big slabs of rock that have fallen loose and are falling down the avalanche. You see two trees that were knocked down and are falling down the avalanche. They're kind of like. They're like surfing atop the snow as they're coming down towards you all. all right. Jump on the rocks. Yeah. I'm gonna lasso the tree. <laughs> did my um my butt slap do that avalanche? Yeah, yeah, it definitely happens? did. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Lord Sean Snow, roll me a I think we've been doing just like an attack roll for your lasso. Attack roll. It's just like a, a dex. Okay. It's like a sleight of hand or a dex or something. 17, Lorchon Snow, you lasso a log coming right at you. And as you do, it catches on it, and you're able to mount up, and you're standing surfing down this I'm log. I'm a fucking badass. Give us, give us the yeehaw. <laughs> you got to give us the yeehaw for that. <laughs> I can't even do that in the voice. <laughs> Hold on. Yeehaw, boy. <laughs> Bellasaur, you still just going to tuck and roll in the snow? Um. I'm going to tuck and roll and find the biggest rock. <laughs> okay. And get behind it. What, so you okay, get smashed? Uh, roll, no, b- get behind it. Hopefully the snow flies Sp- like over Like, skitch it on it? Yeah, skitch it. Skitch that shit. Skitch it. What's Hold on to it, it and fucking what just the fuck skid is skitch it? Wait a minute. You give got some, Bonesy with you. Some woogity woogities. You know, from like Tony Hawk where you like grab a car when you're on a skateboard? Man, what about Bonesy? Oh. Oh yeah, I could I could just ride him down. You could just ride Bonesy down and make a make me a athletics check with advantage with Bonesy. He rolled a twenty one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you and fucking Bonesy are just ahead of this avalanche. They can't even catch you. We're fucking shredding it. You're not you're not <laughs> even worried about it, man. You're just running. And you're the first one down to Mike. You're followed shortly behind by Albert and Pip uh, flying and then Lord Sean Snow surfing on a on a log. And you guys all get to Mike. And uh, a few moments pass. And then you hear another roar. Ooh. And then you see this snow white dragon hurling down. And it's kind of like <laughs> circling around the area. And it starts to close in on. It's like it seems like it's like echolocating where that noise came from. It's like slowly doing circles around, but slowly narrowing in and getting tighter and tighter circles towards you all. Is it a bad dragon? Oh yeah. Um, it's got big angry eyebrows on it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I shave the eyebrows? Quick, quick fellas, load up one of them bolts right there. <laughs> okay, so how many bolts did we have? One. Five. I, no, I think he made. I, I said one. five. You asked for five, but yeah. he did not make five. I think he made one. Yeah, I think one. We have to wait till he's eating somebody to shoot it. Well, we have the sword to shoot at it too—the dragon slayer sword. 
I'm going to tie a rope on the end of the bolt. Yeah, so we can pull it back. Blast out that shit. So we got one bolt, one... Dragon Slayer sword. Sword, and one grenade. Hey, guys, we can't shoot a sword. It's got to be like a spear. We need to add like a stick to the end of it, you know, make it like a spear. Or it's just going to be flip-flopping in the wind. We can't do that on the fly. We're just going to have to shoot well, it. Well, I'm saying this is going to be flip-flopping. It's going to be like How a 50-50 chance. How about disadvantage roll? I'm assuming, right? I would say so. <laughs> but on the, on the spear, I'm going to tie a rope and try and get a rope Pull on back to use it again? Yeah, on the regular bolt. Um, so let's go ahead and all roll initiative. Oh, uh, no. I think there's going to be like a straight-up fight at this point, and we will see what it is from there. <laughs> Ten. Oh, fuck. A five. Oh, I got a 20 plus three. Sixteen. Four. Shit. All right. Albert, looks like you're first up. How far am I from this thing? It, I mean, it's closing in. We'll say that it's like 50 feet away now. Oh, it's, Ballista can hit that yeah. shit. Oh, for sure, Ballista. Yeah. Well, yeah. The only thing I got without going up on there is this... ID insinuation? I don't even know. I don't even remember picking that thing. But that's my spell I got. 60 foot range. Make a wisdom save. Wisdom? So that's a plus zero. That's good. That's good for me. It's a 13. <sighs> that's not good for me. Well, that was my action. <laughs> the, the, what happened? What are you trying to do? Did nothing happen? Hang on. Yeah, hang on. It's a long one. I unleash a torrent of conflicting desires in the mind of one creature you can see within range, impairing its ability to make decisions. The target must make a succeed on wisdom save or be incapacitated. At the end of each of its turn, it takes a d12, and it can make another wisdom save throw. I guess it just, like, shakes its head off. You wow. don't do anything. That was a that was an action. I don't think I have any bonus actions really. If not, we're gonna be going to Belisar. I'll do I'll do um, bonus action to um, hide. All right. How far away am I? How far away am I from? It? It's like circling down about fifty feet away from you all now. Oh, I do have a crossbow. <clears throat> I can hit it with disadvantage. Yeah, 13 to hit. And then that would be 15 to hit, but I have disadvantage since it's more than 30 feet. Yeah, that first, even the first uh, first roll, the 9 plus 4, the 13 to hit, that bolt's going to go like just wide of it as it's kind of circling out around you all. Do you have two attacks yet as a Blood Hunter? I don't know if Blood Hunters get two attacks ever or not. I do have two attacks. You guys just hit level five, so I think level five is when most classes get a second attack. I can uh, I can cast light on it. Oh no, I gotta touch it. Never mind. <laughs> no, don't touch don't, it. You don't <laughs> want to fucking touch this thing. <laughs> and wait, we haven't shot the bolt yet out of the fucking ballista. Right. Just fucking rip the fucking trigger of that thing. Aim it. And do is it. it loaded right now? Yeah, we loaded the bolt already. It's Before loaded. That. Who and do you all want to Sean shoot Marson, it? Sean Marston tied a rope to the bolt. Uh, I can. I mean, I have another action or attack. I'd so move that he's thing got a plus four. Go for it. Okay. Wait, plus four. Oh to hit shit! Four. I got plus six to hit. Well, fuck. You guys told Belisar to. Uh, Belisar rolls a nine total of the big bolt. Fucking Belisar. <laughs> uh, so the the bolt of the ballista, Mike, soars right above the dragon's head as it's circling down towards you all. That was Belisar's two things. Um, Sean Marson next. Reel it in. Reel it in. Can we reel it in? I will say it's probably an action to reel the entire rope in. Can I use my bonus action to reel it in? To reel it halfway <laughs> in, at least? <laughs> you can use your bonus action to reel it halfway in. All right. All right, so Bellasar shoots it, misses, and shot with a crossbow and miss. Starts to slowly, <laughs> like, reel in. And then his arm starts to get tired halfway through and starts, like, shaking it out. Sean Marson's your turn. 
Don't I get two rolls now? You get two attacks now, yes. Pop, 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 pop. You're shooting with your pistol? Fucking 17 and a 25. Both are going to hit. Oh, yeah. Seven and seven. seven. Both were seven damage. Uh, Go ahead and describe what both those shots look like. You're going to do 14 damage total from these two pistol shots. Mm, You boys see that when I shot that dragon (laughs) around his eyeballs. Okay, you shot both his eyeballs out? He's flying blind. Those are accurate as hell. I'll say that both of them could hit one eyeball. Sucker. And he's half blind now. I'm not going to let you completely blind this motherfucker. (laughs) Right, that was a nice shot there. <laughs> yeah, it was beautiful. That was a nice shot. Pip, you're up next. Oh, uh, shit. Is it already up to me or has he got another yeah. attack? Well, Sean Marson, you have a bonus to action. What do I do? Reel that in ha- the other half. Oh, really? Yeah, reel in, in the other way. half. It's in. So, is he closer now? I guess it don't matter. I got a 60 foot radius for this thing. No, yeah, he's. it hasn't been the dragon's turn yet, so it's not okay. quite. I'm gonna. I jump up on top of the ballista and I fucking point my hand up in the sky, and I cast call lightning, and I make a storm cloud appear right over him, right over top of him. Inconvenient. <clears throat> Definitely inconvenient because I think I make a save for that, and it was a seven roll. Oh yeah, you're fucked. You have to roll fifteen for the save for that. Uh yeah. So I don't know what it was. If it was a con save, I'd get eleven. But... It was a. It was a deck save. Oh, no. Nah. So I hit it. Yeah, you definitely hit it. Okay, yes. Okay. All right. So I make this this fucking storm cloud above him, and it's like shooting like little bolts of lightning out of it all over the place. And then I fucking rip my hand back towards me, and it pulls a fucking bolt of lightning directly down on the dragon's head, right through it. Yeah, you have to make a deck saving throw again for that. I already, I already failed the save. Oh, well, yeah. Then you take 3d10 damage for that. Yes, I do. That sounds like a lot. Hopefully. P- potentially. Could be. A 17. 17. 8, 8, and 1. You're, that's very polarizing damage. But, uh, yes, yeah, 17 damage. This is bolt of lightning strikes into this white dragon that's flying down towards you all. It then is dragon turn. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, the damage up? for this spell increases by 1d10 for each... Oh, wait, no. It's not above a third. It is a third. Okay, never mind. How's that? <sighs> so it's dragon time, guys. Guys, mm. it's dragon time. It hasn't used its cold breath yet, so it's gonna... I think you guys are all within 30 feet of each other, right? I don't know, but I'm hidden. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I fell 60 feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have everybody except for Albert. Oh, God. Everybody except Albert, go ahead and make a DC. Oh, just go ahead and make a constitution saving throw real quick. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. Uh, Pip, you saved. Thank, 15. Thank the fucking heavens. Oh, Bell, sorry, you saved. Thank God, the fucking good. heavens. Ooh, that dude, I was terrified there. <laughs> Sean Marston, make a constitution saving throw, please. Mm, I don't want to. <laughs> if you fail, you're instant dead. <laughs> oh, oh my god, he all nice. save, which is fucking killer. Jesus. I will let you guys decide if I'm going to roll for this damage or take the average. Roll for it. Roll for it. Oh, mm, dude, right. yeah. yeah, roll all for right. it. Fuck it. Hmm. I can roll for it. <laughs> I roll hate roll stops. for it. <clears throat> Why well, should be like 37 D14? 48. 48 damage. And what was uh, the average? You guys, well, the average was 45, so it actually went up by 3. Um, but you guys all will be taking half of that. So 24, 24 damage, cold damage. As this thing fucking rears back and lets loose this cone of cold that is just like going side to side. <laughs> Um, what about me, at, like hiding? Would it, I, I, I picture you like hiding in like a little like snow igloo or something, and like it just like fucking I sh- slams I just into it out. It. I'm fucking dead right now. No, you're not. Twenty four. I only had twenty because fucking Albert <laughs> hit me with the thunderclap out of his God ass. God damn it, Albert! Oh my God, I'm so sorry. So you guys see fucking Pip hit the ground? I'm fucking dead. I'm, I'm gonna put Pip in my pocket. 
<laughs> so how does this work? Real quick, time out. I've never died before. Or you're like, not dead, down. dead. You're unconscious. You need at least one health to get back to standing up. Hey, okay. did anyone have a healing potion? No, man. I mean, oh, I have I have healing. We, I have yeah. healing hands. Okay, that's good. Wait, what are you? <laughs> I'm me. What, what what class, man? I am a male fallen Asmar blood hunter. It's because he's an Asmar. Oh, okay. he's got he's got a innate dang uh, race based <laughs> healing good. hands. Which so, I think just is a one time cast for like up to your level. Once so per five, long rest, uh, as an action, touch a creature and restore five hit points. Five HP. Nice. So, but first, nice. I think in the initiative order, me, Albert, Albert. and then me. And All then right, Albert, you're up first. Sean Morrison. Hmm. Is anyone on him yet? Well, he's flapping up in the air, he's, man. Oh, uh, he also was swooping down at you guys. So now he's like 10 feet from the ground. He is coming down, it seems like. We're all dead. <laughs> this is not going to end well. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> happy about this. The bolt has been Retrieved. Uh, pulled back in now and reloaded. I'm going to fly, since I'm flying, fly 50 feet per second. I'm going to fly... Maybe a little ways away from everyone? Do you guys want me to fly a little ways away from you? Turn his neck towards you so fucking Bellasaur can fucking shoot the bolt in his neck. Yeah. No, actually, no, not Bellasaur. Somebody else. I'm wow. Just gonna, <laughs> okay. I'm just going to fly a little ways away kidding. from him, and I'm going to do lightning lure and try and do that. Could, I mean... I'm just looking, making sure I can pull. It says uh, it says any creature, I guess. So I'm gonna do lightning lure. All right. Do I have anything for that? Um. It says hit DC. The target must succeed on a strength save. Oh, guess what? This thing is pretty fucking strong. Well, that sucks. Uh, you failed. What did I roll? Ah. Th- oh. When I roll a 10 total with you a plus four? failed. Damn. Yeah. This dragon's weak. <laughs> Fuck this dragon. <laughs> so. It's, so. It says, um, it says, um. Ah, what are you doing? The dragon said that? <laughs> yeah, the dragon said to, that. To me? To Can I hear yeah, that? That's the dragon's voice. It. I'm not even scared now. Can, wait, I'm not even scared Can anymore. I hear it? Six damage. Yeah, everybody can hear this. It's beginning common. Why are you guys calling me to my house? What? <laughs> Why are you guys calling to my house and attacking me? I, I don't no even idea. know what to say right now. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> As it takes six points of lightning damage from, from Merlin. Next up is Bellasaur. Bellasaur. Somebody answer this dragon. Wait, he came flying down at us, bro. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he's been, I'm still dead on the ground. I can't talk. I'm not I'm unconscious. <laughs> Until Bellasaur maybe gets some hands on you. Wait, so that, wait, that pulled him to me. Yeah, he's right, right up on you now. That's wherever I was, bad. but I also disengaged. I want to go touch uh, Pip. <laughs> I want to go touch Pip. <laughs> and I want to shoot the dragon... With my bow, or the ballista. So, so Pip, you're uh, brought back to life with five HP. It's not a lot. No, no, it's not. Bellasaur is banned from the ballista. Yeah. Yeah. How about you shoot the ballista? I'll just shoot my bow. <laughs> there we go. I'll. You'll just have one action since you also yeah. brought Pip back to life. Come on, come on, Johnny. <laughs> RD? What did you roll? You typed <laughs> RD. RD. You typed know. R space D. <laughs> 15. Fifteen. Dang. You raise up your crossbow, shoot an arrow into this dragon, roll your damage. Six. Six. Uh, pierces right through its left wing and like goes out, through it, leaving a little hole through its wing. No, seriously, why are you guys attacking my house? 
Um, next up is going to be Sean Marson, I believe. Mm, I'm gonna get on this bullet. How close is this dragon? Uh, the dragon's now, like, on the ground, so from the ballista, like, ten feet. Mm, somebody give me that sword. Albert, toss me the sword. Well, uh, is that kind of cost me an action? <laughs> no, go ahead and toss it to him. <laughs> I'm still, like, kind of flying. I'm going to drop it to you. All right, I'm going to load it up in this ballista. Mm. All right, uh, so Sean Marson, since you have two attacks, I will give you one to tie the sword to the ballista bolt, right? Is that what we're going for? Yeah, yeah like tie it to a spear of some sort. What do you want me to roll? For that roll, sleight of hand. <laughs> oh, hey. So it didn't didn't tie on very good. Yeah, well, yeah. You think you think you did a pretty good job though. Uh, now <laughs> roll like a like attack roll at it. Twenty five. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> now, oh. now he shoots the other eyeball out. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and roll 6d6 on top of that 7 damage. 20. So the bolt with the sword tied to it goes straight into his other eye. No. <laughs> No, I think that would be one hundred percent. We'll just say it goes into his ribs. Yeah, it's like in its ribs, and also like it pe- comes out through one of its wings. Uh, this thing's looking pretty rough, but it's also it seems to be kind of gathering its energy for another ice blast. But it sounded like he was friendly, and he's like, "Why are you fucking with me? Well, why are you still <laughs> shoot him? I then? feel bad. I don't know. Well, I mean, he's terrorizing these towns and shit." Well, we you can know? talk to yeah. him. We don't have to keep attacking him. Uh, he's it he's is done for turn. now. We got to take him out. Dude. Okay, look. I'm Poor hobbling. Poor guy. I'm fucking, I'm fucking weak. I'm hobbling. Barely standing and everything. But I fucking pull it out of my, my little jacket. This is big rainbow metallic ball. And I just fucking chuck it right at it. <laughs> oh, wait. I turn the special key first. Bonus action. And I arm it. And then I chuck it right at it. And it gets right up next to his face. <laughs> He's within 10 feet. I got like 120 feet range on He's this He's fucked. Point. So, each creature. Everybody. Uh, within 60 feet. Oh, we're fucked. Fuck. <laughs> we're all dead. <laughs> we have to use this. It's the finale, dude. Everybody make a dex. Fuck. Dex, wait, everybody wait, make wait. a dex save. A wait, dex and a constitution save. <laughs> we're all dead. 60 feet from the dragon. Wait, how far do I disengage? I disengage by Just him. Disengage only 30 feet, man. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. Well, the dragon failed. Oh. 19. Bellasaur is fucking gone. <laughs> he's, he's just fucking running. I got 20. And a deck save because there's fire and thunder damage. Fuck, what if you killed your whole party? Oh, uh-huh, dude. At least we all go well, down. the dragon like, failed both. I have to roll for both too, don't I? Because I'm within 60 feet, even though I threw it. You can throw it up to... Well, fuck. How far can you throw it? Up to 60 feet, I think. It's so you can throw it up to 120, 120 feet. feet. So you can maybe try to math it out a little bit and throw it like 60 feet further... Then Is you, it too late? So it doesn't hit us. <laughs> yeah, I'm throwing it away from me. You guys all rolled already. Like, I'm gonna die regardless. So I'm gonna try and like, I, when I before I threw it, I ran back my 30 feet. I could. <laughs> okay. And, and then I fucking threw it and it went about 30 feet past the dragon. Fuck. Okay. So I'm out of the 60 foot range. But none of us are. <laughs> no, sorry, God. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just watching this all go down here. Hey, Bear, roll uh, a D100 three times real quick, too. A 43, 17, 59. 43 is you cast Lightning Bolt. All right. Uh, Forming a line 100 feet long and 5 feet wide. <laughs> uh, wait, real quick. Uh, so before we even like get to that, uh, 17, you also cast Gust of Wind. And then 59, <laughs> grass grows just in a, a 60-foot radius. <laughs> so you see the grass starts spouting around the dragon. 
as it does, the dragon gets caught in this explosion of fire and thunder. Who failed both rolls? Who's going to be dying by this grenade? Okay, wait a minute. The dragon failed both? The dragon failed both. I passed my con. I failed my deck. I failed both. I'm dead. Sean Marson's <sighs> done for. He's gone. Oh, my God. Dude, okay, so you take 56 damage. I'm dead, dude. Me? No, Sean Marston did since he failed both. Hold on. I only have 44 health. Does that mean I'm dead, dead? No, you're not dead, dead. You have to take 108 damage. Oh, okay, it's double. Be dead, dead. Yeah. So you fall unconscious. Dustin rolled a Dustin rolled a fourteen and a nine without any modifiers. Well, no, fourteen plus six for my dex. Okay, okay so he dodges out of the way, dex. and then a nine plus Constitution. Constitution is two. So Eleven. you get hit with the thunder. Twenty-eight damage. The same thing for Johnny. You take twenty-eight damage. I take twenty-eight. Because you dead. failed your second one. So everybody is unconscious except for Pip. Are you kidding like, me? What about the dragon? Uh, the, so he took 56 Wait, I'm, damage. I'm alive. Okay, so uh, Pip is standing there right next to uh, Albert. Uh, Pip, as he chucks this grenade and it hits into this dragon, you see this fire and thunder explosion all right all centered around this dragon. You see this grass growing beneath the feet of the dragon. Uh, this gust of wind is kicking up this snowstorm and like making this uh, cyclone of snow going all around centered on this dragon and then you see Pip outstretch a finger and a bolt of lightning shoots from his fingertip to the chest of the dragon and it hits into him 8d6 go ahead and roll it it says I just wanted to move out of my parents house and just take over a little base and just have my own place for once in my 100 year wife. <laughs> Poor guy. And it I'm takes sorry. 28 damage and it fucking drops to the ground dead. Wow. <laughs> just just wanted to take my own little place of. <laughs> and it fucking drops to the wow. ground dead. Damn. And then uh, Bellasaur and Sean Marson are both fucking unconscious. Are we the baddies? No. We're the bad guys in this. <laughs> No, look, dude, not only that, the lightning ignites flammable objects in that area that aren't being water carried. So all that grass that he was above or sitting no, it's just, on is it's now just burning up its body, yeah. Okay, so all that happens and Pip's just like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have to deal with Bellasar and Lord Sean or Sean Marston both bleeding out now. I, I, I don't know if I can... I'm a druid. I feel like yeah, I can heal something. Yeah, you heals, man. I don't see it in my spells. But oh, I might not God. Have, I might not have my all my cantrips and shit like prepared. I thought we got some health potions from somewhere, from that Manitor lady that we saved. Yeah, I don't know who took them. I think Sean took them. Hang on. No, I never prepared... My healing word, word is prepared. I never used it. I found it. Creature of your choice you can see within range regains hit points equal to 1d4 plus your spell cast and modifier, which is 7. Spell has no effect on Okay. Hey, yo. Uh, mm, kill uh, Abigail and Jack. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> a 9 and a 10. And then an additional 1d4 since it's second level or higher. So, Belisar, you get 13 health back. Sean Marson, you get 14. You guys are back alive. Did you boys see that shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I died. <laughs> well, I want another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> uh, all right, so <clears throat> that grass only lasted for a minute. And then yeah, it disappeared. It's gone. So oh, it got burned up. Yeah. Okay. So I want to. We need to go check it out. I want to go. I want to go cut this dragon's head off. Yeah. You. Uh, you all start. It, it takes like all four of you to go and mutilate this dragon's body and, then and we'll take its head off. Mysterious. I do not carry participate. <laughs> yeah. Then you uh, use Bonesy, uh, tie a rope to it, just fucking uh, drag it all back to Fandolin. Uh, we'll go ahead and get, get back to Fandolin. We're fucked when his parents come after us. 
Oh, God. <laughs> I ain't going to be here. Wait a minute, dude. He was a nice guy, and I feel bad because I just fucking let him have it. We didn't even stop to talk to him. We just kept. It was too late, dude. It what do you too mean too late? late? He's like, I no, don't don't the hurt me. At him. You're like, boom, I hurt you. Boom. No, don't <laughs> hurt me. Boom, I hurt you anyway. All right, where are we going when we get back to Fanny with this big ass dragon hat? I'm going straight to the town master. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Pip just Open wants his money. The <laughs> fucking door. <laughs> No, you're probably dragons. <laughs> I'm not a fucking dragon. All right, I killed one, and he seemed like a nice guy. Tell me what the fuck's going on here. I'm behind him with the skull, like making it look like it, the, the <laughs> dragon's talking. He said he had a wife and a family he was trying to settle down with, and I blew him to fucking smithereens. Well, thank you for that. He <laughs> peeps. He peeps through the uh, the mail slot. Oh, damn, you actually fucking killed the thing. Right. Was he good or not? I don't know. I mean, he was mean to me. (laughs) What'd you do to it? He was mean to you. I mean, he was, like, flying around. He attacked, you know, he was, like, attacking, like, orcs and and manticores and making them, like, go and, like, attack other people. And they were, like, intruding on Phandalin and shit. So, yeah, that dragon was an asshole. Oh. Oh, well, he seemed pretty nice. <laughs> that makes me feel not so bad. No, if you, I mean, if you really think about it, like the dragon was kind of like the root cause of like everything, right? Right. Maybe he was just trying to pull fast one on me before I blew him up. <laughs> you should have seen this fucking grenade I threw. I mean, dragons are pretty crafty like that. They're probably it's probably trying to pull on your heartstrings, get you to let them live. But yeah, that's that's a fucking dragon head you got right there. I got to say, Pip and Albert, I mean, I'll go ahead and say you guys are just like free. Like, I don't care if you guys do any more like community service, Fandolin or anything. Well, I think that's the least that that can happen here. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm thinking too. What about payment? Um, I think you two being released from garrison duty would be, you know, the most we could do. Uh, you other two, Bellasaur and uh, Sean Morrison. I'll give you. How about how about two hundred gold pieces each? Mm, I want to be the sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can. Yeah, I think you know that position's not filled yet. Mm. I think that would definitely be worth it. Mm, I'm gonna require two hundred gold pieces a week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll work out the logistics of it all, but um, yeah, the town definitely needs a sheriff, so. Can uh, I be yeah. the deputy? <laughs> I think that's going to be up to Sean Marston now. Mm, I guess so. All right, we got a new sheriff and deputy in town. That's uh, it's actually pretty exciting news. So I am gonna, I'm gonna just end it there. But pull back, fast forward six months from now. Dang, Whoa. Pip. Dang. Albert, whoa! Where are you two six months from now? Are you guys in Fandolin? Are you guys separate? Should I be doing this separate scenes? No, I, I decided to stay in Fandolin. Yeah, let's do it. We stayed together. We got a house in Fandolin. We just been chilling, you know, hanging out as bros. We still make a living by doing some not so legal shit. But Sean Marsh turns Connors. the cheek. Yeah, we let it fly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. They turn the cheek. Yep. Bonesy has some pretty sweet new armor that, you know, a oh. deputy couldn't afford on his own. <laughs> <laughs> on his regular check. Yeah, they're, they're splitting the bounties with the, either the pot every every time we make a nice hit. Okay. So I did. Yeah, I didn't want to see like six months from now. I was going to do like individual scenes. I cut to Pip and um, Albert because I thought that you two, you know, you two were pretty... Um, we're bros, pretty man. close together, yeah. So, like, I figured you guys would be going whichever path you decided. I thought you guys would be going uh, together. I am currently working on getting more gnome and guard grenades, though, from the gnome or <laughs> the gnomes up there. Bellasaur, what's it look like for you six months from uh, slaying the dragon? Still oh, deputy? Oh. I'm deputy. Um, I wore I wear cowboy boots now because Sean Marston made me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> this is your new uniform right here, boy. <laughs> boots, vest, and a hat. That's it. Okay. I was going to say nothing but cowboy boots. <laughs> um, yeah, I just ride around on Bonesy and judge people. Okay, uh, I'm going to cut to Sean Marson, and then we'll see. Uh, so, Sean Marson, what's it look like for an uh, average day six months from now in the sheriff's shoes? Well, I, uh, I own this town. And, uh, <laughs> well, today, you want me to go over to what happened today? It's, yeah, let's say let's say in an average day, what's it look like for all four of you guys? Let's go ahead and go top to bottom, because I think Sean Marson's like at the top of the... Mm, well, today I got some contraband. I got ten Nomagar grenades. I'm gonna take them over to Pip. Mm. <laughs> okay, <Yeah>. okay, <laughs> and that's it. Mm. <laughs> What's an average day for uh, Bellasar look like? I picture Sean Marson just sitting on a front porch with a with a dog laying yeah, next I don't to feel it like he with does a shotgun. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> and like he's whittling and he's like he's like spitting into the spittoon, but. But the garrison is like up I mean, on two tiers of the hill, right? Overlooking Fandolin. So I feel like he's just like overlooking, looking yeah, down top. on Fandolin, not doing shit, but. And from time to time, he just goes, mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> And every once in a while, he tells Bellasar to do something. Yeah, some Bellasar does shit. all the work. And I just sit there <laughs> and uh, hook up Pip and Albert in their criminal ways. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> Tip and Albert literally just have the fucking run of the town now. That's God, right. I did we not took this see place this over. <laughs> As you're doing this scan by scene, you know, and you're checking on everybody, I'm on that sending stone with the gnomes, getting some details together. Mm, you ready for these uh, gnome and guard grenades, there, Pip? How many did you find? Mm, ten, buddy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, you enjoy these. See, <laughs> well, you were dead when I threw the last, but you didn't get to see all <laughs> the fucking shit that come out of Let's this. Let's go one. do one for fun. <laughs> 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 oh, behind the garrison in an empty valley, you just hear <laughs> <laughs> all the fucking trees are <laughs> Let me roll. Let me roll. Yeah, roll three uh, D one hundreds real quick. Let's see what happens with <laughs> this fucking wand of water. Here, I'll roll one. Sean, you roll one. A fucking three. <laughs> three. Uh, three, you cast slow. The trees all start to like move in slow motion. Oh, yeah, that's badass. Here, I'm gonna roll one. Oh, a 92 on the third. Oh. Sean, you cast lightning bolt, but that lightning bolt's going in slow motion as it's like hitting into the trees. Arcing, I think a 92 is fire. good on that. 92. You see a colorful burst of shimmering light extend from Pip in a 30 foot radius. And uh, you and each creature in the area must succeed on 15 <laughs> constitution saving throw, be blinded for one minute. As you're all like looking at these flashing lights, <laughs> rubbing at your eyes, blinded by it, and we will fade to white and end the campaign there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a beautiful way to go out. Everybody is your dungeon master, I'm Dweez, yet again. Uh, thank you all for checking out this finale to One Shot Onslaught, the Dragon of Ice Pirate Peak mini campaign. I want to give a uh, shout out to our patrons first and foremost. So thank you, Rachel, aka Dragon Bait, Tiana H, Mitch B, The Lawful Stupid Podcast, Ryan P, Jeremy Fair, Zoltar, Loki Strike, Dave Manley, Jason Pravat, Bradley M. Dwayne, the old DM from Lawful Stupid Podcast, A Sofa Kingdom, Uncle Scott Shansaw, Not Iron Claw, Danny T, Brittany D, Bay Area Beer Socials, Remus S, Jorian Drake, Naomi Sweet, Drew Rundu, Joel Lorber, The Nerd Asylum, and Danny M. Uh, seriously, thank you all so much for supporting this show. 
And if you also want to support the show, but also get a lot of really cool bonus content, including a new bi-weekly show called Dungeons and Diaries, where um, NPCs and characters from this show and from Half-Way to Heroes uh, narrate a journal entry every two weeks or getting to play in one shots with me, uh, getting characters named after you. The list goes on and on and on. And you can sign up for that as low as $1 a month at patreon.com slash one shot onslaught all spelled out. Also, I hope you all enjoyed this uh, mini campaign for Dragon of Icefire Peak. We are now wrapped up with this. We are now ready to get back to our regular scheduled one shots in two weeks from today. If you are jazzed up and cannot wait to two weeks, you can actually watch our Patreon stream of our first ever one shot back with uh, Justin AK Death coming out this Saturday, April 18th at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. We will be streaming it live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash one shot onslaught to support our extra life charity stream. Uh, it's going to be a 24 hour marathon, a ton of r- amazing giveaways for all of our donors one dollar and up you can literally donate one dollar and get entered into seven amazing giveaways so check the show notes for that link uh for our donation page um it all goes to cincinnati children's hospital and it's going to be an amazing content an amazing uh charity stream amazing cause definitely sign up for that uh so thank you all for listening and we will talk to you all later Bye, everybody. That's a very crude map. <laughs> you are... What'd you say? <laughs> you are, it's supposed to say you are here. It's just like you are... <laughs> yeah, I got lazy. <laughs> um, oh, my God. What's this one? It's called the Sphere of Annihilation. That sounds cool. There's a whole... A hole in the multiverse hovering in space and stabilized <laughs> by a magical field surrounding it. It obliterates all matter that passes through and all Yeah, all matter it passes through and all matter that passes through it. We're just gonna fucking throw it at the dragon. Just throw it there and then we're done. <laughs> <laughs> uh that might be too OP for what we're looking for here. Are you sleeping, Johnny? <laughs> Did he fall asleep? I think he did. No. Johnny. No. Johnny. Yeah. Uh, you were sleeping? <laughs> I think so. You better sit <laughs> up. Where are you, man? <laughs> He's laying down. Sit the he fuck was, up, oh boy. Oh, my God, Johnny. You fucking fall asleep, dude. Right in the middle of the finale. <laughs> Johnny, where are you? What are you doing? <laughs> sit I'm laying up. down, man. Sit, sit up. up, man. Sit up. Johnny's sleeping. You're going to wake what him is, up. What is, what, Johnny, what is Johnny, you're sleeping. Johnny, wake I'm up. Awake. I'm awake. Wake up, son. <laughs> you know what? His beard was all his energy. God damn. Is that <laughs> where he you held your energy? Oh, like, yeah. like Samson from the Bible when he gets his hair cut off. He loses all his energy. <laughs> Can anyone here do that? You know that. That shooting noise that rappers make? Like the guns? Pew, pew. No. <laughs> pew, pew. The rat tag. No, i yeah, like Johnny just bra, did. Bra. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> What'd you do? Created an ice knife, tried to stick it in there to slow my fall as I'm slipping down this snow. I th- I thought you said I snife a wall. I snife it. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> it's like, what? He's sleepy. His beard injury's gone. Oh, <laughs> Injuries? Energies. Injuries. I've had too many drinks. <laughs>